Energy Loss in Food Chains by kscience.com. So there's 50 kilograms of biomass stored in the fruit bush. And this is the first trophic level. 50 kilograms of biomass is transferred to 5.5 kilograms of aphids. To 5.5 kilograms of aphids. But where does the other 45.5 kilograms of biomass get transferred to? So when an organism is active, it's going to undergo cellular respiration. So energy from cellular respiration is transferred by heating to the surroundings. So even plants move. As you can see here, the plant is moving. So energy is being used during respiration to provide energy for the plant to move. So energy from cellular respiration is transferred by heating to the surroundings. This energy is not being transferred to the next trophic level. So biomass is also lost between trophic levels because the fruit bush requires energy to grow. And this energy comes from cellular respiration. And not all the biomass is eaten. So dead plant that is not eaten, decay. So the biomass stored in these plants are not transferred to the next trophic level because they're not eaten by the aphids. And energy stored in the biomass of the fruit bush is transferred as waste products out of the fruit bush. So oxygen, for example. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So there's now 5.5 kilograms of biomass stored in the aphids. So the aphids then eat the fruit bush and consume the biomass from the fruit bush. But only 0.5 kilograms is transferred to the next trophic level, which is ladybirds. So where does the remaining energy get transferred to? Energy stored in the biomass of the aphids is transferred to the surroundings due to energy from cellular respiration being transferred by heating to the surroundings. So aphids are going to excrete waste. Aphids actually produce something called honeydew, which other insects like to eat. And this here is a picture of an aphid excreting honeydew, its waste product. In other organisms, the waste could be urea and feces. When organisms move, they require energy to move. So the energy from the biomass is transferred to the kinetic stores of the animal for movement and also to the surroundings by heating. And not all the aphids are going to be eaten by the organisms in the next trophic level. So they die and they are not eaten. So the energy is not transferred to the next trophic level. And energy will be transferred and used for metabolism within the aphids. So building and breaking down other molecules. And energy is required for the growth and repair of cells in the aphid. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. There's 0.5 kilograms of biomass stored in the ladybirds that is transferred to the next trophic level, which is of birds, which is 0.05 kilograms. So not all the energy stored in the biomass of the ladybirds is transferred to the biomass stored in the birds. This is because some ladybirds are going to die without being eaten by the birds. Ladybirds move, so that means they're going to undergo cellular respiration, which will transfer energy from their biomass to the surroundings via heating. Ladybirds undergo metabolic processes, so energy is going to be used for that, instead of being transferred to the next trophic level. So energy is going to be transferred to the surroundings via waste products. In humans and horses, for example, this could be urea and feces. And due to the ladybirds moving, they're going to use energy from their biomass to move. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.